now going to 6.3 where we are having a general solution which is this one here and we are asked to solve it so basically when you solve a general excuse me when you solve a general solution you are finding the angle so in this case you're going to find the angle of x right so the first step you're going to do is I'm going to write 6.3 you have 6 sine of squared x plus 7 cos x minus 3 equals to 0 so here you are having different trig ratios so you need to change one trig ratio to, so that you can have common trig ratios this is the same as having 6y squared plus 7 7x minus 3 so you basically what you're saying is we need to change this variable here to be the same as this variable here so that's what we're doing here so we're just going to change let's change this sine squared x so you're going to have 6 open bracket 1 minus cos squared x so that is your identity so if you check your identities 7 cos of x so I'm writing cos of x minus 3 equals to 0 then this 6 here will multiply everything that is inside the bracket so you're going to have 6 minus 6 cos squared x plus 7 cos x minus 3 equals to 0 so this minus or this plus 6 rather will minus this 3 and we're going to have minus 6 cos squared x plus 7 cos x plus 3 equals to 0 then you're going to divide out by the negative 1 throughout then you will have 6 cos squared x minus 7 cos x minus 3 equals to 0 then now you need to factorize but it becomes tricky to factorize your trig ratios right so you need to change them we need to change them to suit something that will make it easier for you to factorize so let's just say k so let k be equal to cos x right so this means now if you write your equation it's just going to be 6 6 k squared minus 7 k minus 3 equals to 0 so that's how it's going to look now so let's factorize that so you're just going to put in your brackets then you put in your k so what is going to happen is you'll have 3k and you'll have 3 okay so what's going to happen is you'll have 3k and then you'll have 2k here which makes 6k squared and then you're going to put your 3 here so that when you multiply this and this it gives you 9 and then when you subtract it with these two it gives you seven which is the seven in the middle here so meaning here you're just going to put your one and the largest the largest number will take the sign of the middle term which the, the largest root here is three so you're just going to put in a negative here and a positive here so you're just going to have three k so this is equal to zero three k is equal to minus one or 2k is equal to 3 and then k is equal to minus 1 over 3 or k is equal to 3 over 2 but you know very well that your k is actually equal to cos of x so where there's k you put cos of x so meaning it's going to be cos of x is equal to negative 1 over 3 or cos of x is equal to 3 over 2 which to find the solution for this one is impossible so you're just gonna say not applicable or uh, no solution for that one so to find the solution for cos of x is equals to minus one over three so you're gonna first find the angle um by saying x is equals to cos of one over three neglect the negative for now then the angle which is going to be your reference angle is going to be 70.53 which i said is going to be your reference angle so this is your reference angle now you're going to 
have a look at the impact that this negative does so you're going to look because it's a negative you have to go back to your cast diagram and ask yourself where is cos negative cos is negative in the second quadrant and in the third quadrant so what are the angles in the second quadrant in the second quadrant you have 180 degrees minus theta in the third quadrant you have 180 degrees plus theta so you can use these to find your other values of x all right so it's going to be x is equals to 180 degrees minus theta which is 180 degrees minus your 70.53 which is your reference angle then you're gonna get something like 109.47 degrees so that's going to be your first x value the angle so it's going to be if you write it nicely it's going to be x is equals to 109.47 degrees then you don't forget to write your 360k which is your period and k is the element of integer and then now you have 180 degrees plus theta right so it's going to be x is equals to 180 degrees plus your 70.53 degrees which your x in this case is going to be 250 degrees 0.53 degrees sorry it's 250 0.53 degrees so it's going to be 250.53 degrees then you put in your period which is 360 k k is the element of z so that is how you find the general solution for this problem here thank you so much for watching if you have any questions suggestions or comments please write them in the comments section below don't forget to subscribe to the channel for more videos.